Hello, today I'm going to talk about the Merge Sword. Merge Sword is uh, one of the many sorting techniques that were de developed for computer programming. Uh, it's similar to Quick Sort in a way that it uses the divide and conquer st strategy. That it's going to take your list and divide it up into smaller lists and then uh, sort them uh, after that. Now how it works uh, for merge sort is that it's going to keep dividing lists into smaller lists until all the sub lists that you created only have one element. Once you've done, so you're going to uh, keep dividing uh, everything in the list until everything is individual. Then you start merging the sub lists two lists at a time by comparing the first element in the list that you currently have until you combine them both into a larger sorted list. Now you repeat step two uh, again, comparing each two lists that you have, and, and you keep going, uh, combining them into larger and larger lists until you com come up with the a list with all the original elements that you had at the beginning. So I'm going to show you an example here. Uh, we have this array here in front of us, and we're going to sort it with the merge sort. How do you start? Split up all the individual units. Okay. So if we uh, split them up in the middle, you have to split them up in the middle as you go along, and we're going to combine them again at the middle. So we're going to start by splitting it up in the middle. So now we have four elements on the left side and five on the right side. Notice that we have a total odd number of uh, elements in this total array. So that's why we have a different number of elements on each side. Uh, generally, um, you would have one more element on the right than you would on the left in this case. Uh, but that's not necessary. It depends how you code it. So we keep dividing again. Now we have four different lists. But they're not individual yet, so we have to keep dividing them. And at the end there, you still have one list with two elements. So you have to divide that again. Okay, now everything has been divided. Now you have to combine the two lists together at a time and sort them. Uh, remember to, that you should combine them in the same order that you divided them in to begin with. So now if we look again at these uh, individual lists that we have, uh, you would combine the uh, second one, uh, the first two that you have there, you would compare them together and then combine them into a new list that has been sorted. So 5 is less than 6, so you would put 5 first and then 6. So then you would look at the next two, 3 and 1. 1 is less than 3, so you put 1 and then 3. And you keep doing this for all the lists. Uh, notice the last uh, one I d did there. Uh, that, I, I compared the last two instead of uh, using the number 2, I compared 4 and 9. Uh, because you have to combine them in the order that you originally did, uh, split them. So now we have these uh, different lists. Now you have to merge the list by comparing the first element in each list, now that each list has at least one or more elements. So uh, I'm going to first take care of the last list we have in the back there because that's a little weird. Uh, so if you compare the 2 and the 4, the 2 was less than 4, so the 2 would go first. Then you could, in this case, you could just put everything else right after it. Okay, so now we have to compare uh, each, we have four lists, now we have to compare the first two lists together and then the next two lists together. So if you compare the 1 and the 5, you know, the 1 is less than 5, so you put the 1 first into a new list. Now the 1 would be taken out of that previous list, and now you would 3 would be the first element in that list now. So you co would compare the 3 and the 5. Well, the 3 is less than 5, so the 3 would go next. Okay, now you would compare the two lists again. Now the, one of the lists is completely empty, so you could just start putting all the elements in the first list. 
So you would put five first, and then six. Okay, now we're going to do the same for the next uh, two lists. You would compare the two and the seven. Two is less than seven, so you would put the two in the new list first. And then this, uh, you would compare seven and four. Four is less than seven, so you would put four next in, to the new list. Then you would compare seven and nine. Seven is less than nine, so you would put seven first. Then you would compare eight and nine. Eight is less than nine, so you would put eight first. And then nine is all that's left, you would put nine. Very right, good, so now we only have two lists left, but we want one large combined list with everything in it. So we have to compare these two larger lists now in the same manner and make a larger list with it. So you would compare the one and the two because those are the two first elements in the new list that we have. The one is less than two, so you would put one first in your new list. And then two, and then three, then four, then five, then six, seven, eight, and nine. And that is your new sorted list that we got from using merge sort. Uh, here's some of the pseudocode that you could use to uh, uh, use merge sort. Uh, this function, uh, really all it does is, is that it splits up the list. Uh, so you can see here, it's, divide, it's uh, deciding where the middle of the list is, and it's dividing, uh, it's taking everything from the left side and adding it to a new array called the left. And here it's taking everything on the right side and adding it to the, a new array called the right. And then at the end here, it's asking us to use recursion to sort, uh, divide those even further. And at the very end, it's saying merge. We're going to use a function called merge that will merge the two lists that are saved in this specific instance of the function. And it's going to merge them in order the same way we were looking at before. And this is the function called merge. Uh, so it says, as long as, long as there's something within uh, one of the two arrays, arrays that you're comparing, uh, you're going to compare the first element of each array, unless and, and you're going to add them to a new list based on that. Uh, otherwise, if uh, one of the lists is already empty, then you would uh, start adding uh, elements from the other list that still has something based on that. Uh, interesting fact, uh, other sorts uh, could be faster than this. It, it, the reason that the, this sort is effective at all is because it's only comparing two elements at a time. Uh, the first elements of the t two arrays that you're looking at at that time, which is a little bit faster than some other sorts. The heap sort, which you could find in another video, is generally faster, but merge sort is usually a better choice when you're sorting something like a linked list. You can do further research to de uh, decide what the efficiency is. And that is how the merge sort works. I hope you learned something today. Uh, thank you for watching.